I was recently inspired to make candles that look like peppermint sticks and today I'm going to show you how I did it. I used plain white candles and red acrylic paint and I also had to use something called paint adhesion medium. That's because candles are a little too waxy to paint on directly so all you have to do is mix equal amounts of the paint and the adhesion medium. Now I'm going to show you how I taped my candle. Start by placing a piece of tape diagonally from top to bottom. Then continue placing more pieces right next to each other until the whole candle is covered. What I'm showing you is basically the lazy way to get perfectly parallel lines without measuring. When you're done placing all of the tape, remove every other piece of tape. This way, you'll be able to paint the candle red and get alternating red and white stripes. I also taped off the top of the candle because I didn't want to paint it. Unfortunately, my dog got to my sponge before I did, but that may have been a sign because using a sponge was actually a bit of a mistake. So first I'm showing you what not to do. The sponge applies a much thicker layer of paint than I thought it would, and it ended up with a bumpy, uneven texture. I've never painted on candles before, and I was kind of making the instructions up as I went, so later on you'll see me use a technique that works a lot better. Another mistake I made with this first batch of candles was letting the paint dry too long. I waited an hour and when I pulled off the tape, it took some of the edges of the paint along with it because the paint had dried to the tape. I was not happy with my first attempt, so here goes round two. So this time I'm painting with a foam brush, and please excuse the fact that it doesn't have a handle. I used a foam brush because it gave me a much smoother, more even layer, and I'm also not going to wait as long for the paint to dry this time. Time for the moment of truth. I got much cleaner lines this time, but if you're super picky like me, you'll want to remove little mistakes like this, and I'll show you how in a second. Most people wouldn't notice that spot unless they got up close with a camera lens, but it was bothering me so I was actually able to pick it off with my finger and this is another advantage to only waiting 10 minutes for the paint to dry. You still have time to fix mistakes. The last thing I did was make another candle with alternating thin and thick stripes and I did that by using scotch tape to create the thinner lines. And that's how I created my peppermint stick candles. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks of what I'm working on next. And as always, thanks for watching.